My name is Hey Hello Player. Welcome back to another video. This is leaving off right after episode 3, so hopefully you'll enjoy, and we're going to get right into it. it. Took me a while to find the save, but I found it. I'm just going to save just in case. I mess up with the mic so I can re record this. should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing just like old time. Okay, so if you remember from the last episode, GLaDOS threw us down here, down that um, shaft. And we're down here in the incinerator room, and what she's going to make us do is she's going to go make us get a dual portal device. And what that is, is if you notice the first portal device that we had, it only shot blue portals. This one shoots both blue and orange. That way we can create our own portals and we won't have to rely on the testing chambers to give us the orange portal. So there it is. <laughs> Alright, so you guys can see that it shoots blue and orange. So we can go through. So that would be cool to show you guys. Yeah, I really hope you guys will start enjoying this game now, now that the story is about to like, pick up. Um, yeah, I wanted to make this series good, and so hopefully the mic is sounding nice in this video. Everything. This will be our only chance to talk. Sorry, I, I keep forgetting not to talk while um, there's dialogue or anything. Um, Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life were preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. Sixty more years. Actuarial tables in front of me, but the important thing is you're back with me, and now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's no uh, yeah, okay. for the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby, reanimating the dead, maybe. She says I'm doing this for the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. I'm not doing this for the rest of my life. You're lying. Alright. Chapter 2, The Cold Boot. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test. Which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Alright, so this is our first test of the episode. Um, this is the introduction of lasers. So, um, I remember this because I already recorded this episode as well, but I wanted to re-record it for you guys to make it real nice. So, um, we're going to stand on this platform, shoot a portal here. And we'll shoot a portal above this, and that's going to shoot the laser down here. Not and this bad. is going to bring us up. I forgot how good you are at this. Yeah, not bad. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. That's what you think. So, um, I haven't really gotten any feedback if you guys want longer than 10 minutes. So, if you do, be sure to keep letting me know. Um, I don't know if I said that right, but... If... You guys do this want to see longer than 10 minutes? Let me know. Redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Okay, so as you as she said, um, this is a redirection cube and what that does is if I am not stupid and I can pick it up. Uh, what it does is it actually you can redirect the what am I doing? 
<laughs> I can redirect the laser with this um, cube, like I'll show you here. I can point it if I want to, which is pretty cool. But um, it adds a whole new element. So basically, I have to point the laser into this recept. Whoa, I almost killed myself. <laughs> Without killing myself, I have to point this in here, and that's going to bring up these stairs. And with that, um, I believe what I could do is I can shoot a portal right here. And if I shoot a portal underneath this cube, it's going to bring this up and I can grab it like that. Put it on the button. Well done. And it worked. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. I'm a what? A horrible person. We oh, okay then. Oh, I guess, guys, I'm a horrible person. Never making a YouTube video again. I'm a horrible person. <laughs> yeah, this this game is pretty cool. I love Don't it. I know I said that and everything, but it's awesome. It's just a data point. I was it's too late, Glados. Really Sorry. Better. Science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Oh, that makes me feel great. Thanks. First, you call me a horrible person, and now you're saying that I've gotten abandoned. Thank you so much. You're a great person, GLaDOS. Thank you. Okay, I'm an idiot then. I just... Okay. I don't even know what's going on right now. Alright, so point this here. That's going to open that side. And then we have to point one up there so I can go back up here. Shoot a portal here. And this is going to kill me, you watch. No? Okay. Congratulations. Okay. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Oh, are you are you calling me fat? Uh, I see how it is. So first, you call me a horrible person. You said I've been abandoned by my parents, and now you're calling me fat. Thank you. You're really boosting my self-esteem. <laughs> I don't know. One moment. And now you want me to wait a minute. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Okay, fine. I'll just sit in this corner and pretend like I'm having fun. Okay, never mind. <laughs> you guys thought I was going to do that. No, I'm just kidding. All right. So Okay, I remember this. So I'm gonna shoot a portal over here and here. Push this button. It's gonna like, hey, here's the cube. Hey guys, look a cube. <laughs> All right, so uh, where? Come on. I'm trash. Oh, I remember what I gotta do. I just forgot. Okay, so I shoot this here. Shoot this. Okay, there's already one over there. <laughs> okay. So the reason why I need to go back is because if I shoot this here, now that I couldn't see it from there. So now this is going to move. I suck. So now I'm going to have to wait for the platform to come all the way back because I'm trash. Great. 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 <laughs> all right. Come on. Any day now. Okay, if I fell in the water, I was about to quit and never play this game again. Jump. I'll give you credit. Oh, I, I thought I fell for a second. Oh, you call that slow? Oh, I guess it was kind of slow because <laughs> I felt like an idiot. <laughs> or not felt like an idiot, but I pushed the button again like an idiot. Alright, we're doing pretty good. Uh, we're at 8 minutes and 50 segundos. So two more minutes and that will be the episode. Um, I'm doing this the night before, so I'm trying to stay one day ahead with videos so I'll be able to upload every day. I know I missed one day the other day because I was lazy and I render started rendering way too late. But this I'm going to edit this video tonight. The Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. What I was trying to say is I'm going to record this and edit this tonight and start it rendering. Then I can go to sleep. And then what I'm going to do after that is uh, in the morning, I'm going to upload it. Yeah. And I'll public it. Um, depending on what time it is, I'll public it around probably, um, I don't know, 
Oh, one o'clock. I don't know when I'm gonna wake up because you never know with those kind of things. Um, depends how long I stay up watching YouTube or anything like that. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this bar down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Well, that was a fun fact. <laughs> uh, I, I just love everything about this game, just the way, I don't know. Really, really wish they would make Let's a third see what one. The next test is oh, advanced aerial faceplates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Oh, have fun with that. At least I'm not trapped in this facility doing tests for you. I'd rather pick up glass than be trapped here and doing this crap with you, to be honest. Oh, that would have been sick. Alright, I suck. Forgot that I had to shoot those. Alright, so. Uh, let's see. Alright, so now we can go off this. And it's going to launch us over there next to the door. I believe so. Yep, that's what it's going to do. Alright. So now, what we can do here is we can do shoot here, and we can be this here, and I'm gonna push this. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them, standing around, smelling, and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. I don't think I can avoid it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, crap. Alright, so now we got a cube. And stay, stay, stay. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was gonna fall. Thank Remember you. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? Yes, that I do. That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And oh, I'm sorry. You love insulting you me, don't you? at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Um, you really didn't have to bring it up, you know. You didn't have to say it a second time, and you didn't even have to call me garbage in the first place. I just realized we hit 12 minutes, so that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the did video. You know the if you did, leave a like. And subscribe if you guys want to see more of these. Thank you for the train sound, I'm sorry. GLaDOS. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, um, just an interesting science I'll wait for her to stop talking. Okay, so what I was saying, if you guys want to see more of this series, uh, be sure to subscribe, and it will, um, uh, you don't have to do this, but I um, just thought, uh, I'd tell you guys, you obviously probably already know about this, but if you uh, hit that little bell thing, uh, basically what it does is it will notify you every single time I uh, upload a video. And the reason why I'm even telling you guys about this is because um, if you guys are really into this series, it will tell you every single time I, as soon as I upload um, the next episode of this series, um, it will tell you on your phone or your tablet or anything that you click it on, basically, that you're allowed to. I, I think it's mostly for phones and tablets, though, that it has that thing in there. But yeah, uh, obviously you don't have to do any of those things, but if you did, that's the way to support me. I want to thank you guys very, very much for watching this video and putting up with my um, trash quality. But yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see everybody in the next